Good morning fellow YouTube viewers, welcome to another video, and yes, Watch OS 6, Watch OS 6 has just been released, as well as iOS 13 and iPad OS 13, um, you gotta, do, I think you gotta have an Apple Watch Series 1 and newer, I believe, to run Watch OS 6, um, yeah, so Watch OS 6 brings you a whole range of new features, um, it brings more, it brings new apps, including a cycle tracking, um, Noise, uh, noise, voice demos, audio books, calculate, and for the first time in the App Store, you can download apps from the Apple Watch. Plus, a new way to track your activity over time with activity trends. So, what I'm going to do now is stop the screen. Here is my Apple Watch Series Four, and here's that's a new interface. Um, from the new update, I get uh, some a new watch face. So it has the weather. Um, I just type the pin in. Sorry. So you get a new interface, you got like, um, as my emergency contact, um, uh, the wind, the, um, temperature for when the moon's coming and that's your activity. Um, if I click the side button here, and you'll notice that it was like one saw different colours now, it's, um, and it's locked itself. So the home screen, it looks very similar. Nothing's really changed. Um, get this new one. So that's your, what's playing on your Apple Watch. Um, you get voice memos. I don't think we're always on there, but so you can tap to record voice memos. So that will come in handy. Um, this one is your cycling track, tracker. So open the health app on your iPhone to set up cycle tracking. Tracking your mens menstrual cycle can help you un you understand your overall health. Um, that's a new one too. That's the radio. Yep. Home. You get a calculator now. So... I've got to admit, the calculator looks a bit tiny on this, um, but, oh, sh shit, sorry my language, so, so close out of that. You also get stocks, I don't know if that was always on there, but you got stocks. Um, calendar, so today is the 20th. Um, got reminders. There are all the reminders I have. App Store. So you can search the App Store. So you can use a dictation or you scribble for an app. Um, also got audio books. Uh, Apple Maps, which has always been on there. So there's your workout app. It's been, I think it's got a bit of a slight update. Not really. Mail's on here. Uh, hearing app. So Apple Watch can check sound levels nearby and notify you when they might affect your hearing. This uses the microphone but does not record or save any sound, so I might enable that. You got your alarm, world clock. Your timer. Your health center. Message, messages. News. Wallet. Podcast. Your podcast. Get this podcast on here. Uh. Oh, well, that crashed. So that's your workout. Well, that's the wrong app. So S work, and for some reason it's quite buggy, it just crashes. So that might be a bug fix I need to do on an update. Um, heart rate, it won't measure anything because it's on my wrist photos. 
and and you got settings. So it's also put my placard up there. Um, you go general about. Oh, you can do a software update on here now, which is cool. That's how much key it is. You got find me iPhone. So there's me. So that's pretty much Watch OS 6. Um, you get some exciting new features. Um, you finally get the app store. You can do more on your watch than having to always have your phone with you all the time, which is really handy. Um, is it worth the update? Um, yeah, if you want more functionality over your watch. One thing I wouldn't mind Apple Apple doing one day is um, releasing an Android version of what the watch app. So you can configure this Apple Watch on an Android phone. I know it'll probably never happen because Apple don't like to do that. But it'd be a good idea and help. And because people might not like the iOS, but like the Apple Watch. You know, and they don't want to buy an iPhone just to get an Apple Watch. So that could be another thing they should look at doing in the future. But, yeah. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.